Hey everybody, we're going to look at a simple way to do really cool sampling with Alchemy today. This is something that perhaps you've thought about over the years with Logic where you wanted to sample maybe a loop or something and then play it on a keyboard. Well, most samplers, not, not all of them, but many samplers do this thing with the sample rate where it speeds it up or slows it down when it maps it across the key. So you end up with it exactly the right tempo on one key. And then as you play different octaves. So if I hold down a chord, it sounds cool, but it, it's all over the place tempo wise. Well, that is something that many old samplers really had to deal with. We're going to initialize this preset. I'm going to bring in this same loop again, and I'm just taking this from the Apple loop so I can drag this straight in from any of my Apple loops. This is one of the really, truly powerful ways of working. Drag this out onto my source A, but this time I'm going to do spectral instead of sampler. So it's going to analyze that whole loop and then it's going to take it so we can use it in many different ways. There's the normal speed one, up one octave. So it's actually taken the analysis, it's kept the time exactly the same, and just shifted it up. Now I can do a chord. Or octaves. Or I can hold it with one hand and then do just the first part of a melody with the other. Okay. So just really simple way of looking at that. This allows us to have one single file that gets mapped across the entire keyboard without worrying about the time differences. We can then come in here and change some of the other pieces that we have here. So this is our spectral view. And if I want, I can actually come through and erase portions of this and change the whole thing. This is actually one of the places where you can do like secret spy messages and things like that. So we could say, help me and spell words into this and do artwork this way if you wanted. This is gonna sound pretty awesome, of course. Okay, so just a really simple way to sample something that then becomes really easily usable through your whole project or any other place. Now, there are a couple quirks about this. So, for instance, let's initialize this again, come out here. I'm going to re-import this in under the spectral. We have to keep in mind that it's going to be mapped with the root on C. So that's me playing the key and this is me loading it from the loops. That doesn't mean that this is in the key of C though, even though you play a C and it plays it in the root. You may have to edit the actual root note or just transpose it uh, using a different key on the keyboard if you want it to match into a song that has a different key signature already set up. Okay, so that's a look at just dragging in loops and turning them into easy sampled instruments which stay the same tempo across the whole range while being adjusted with a pitch. Hope this is useful. There's so much more we could do with this. Alchemy, of course, then has so many tools, effects, ways to manipulate sound that we can then put that different file through. But that's a discussion for another day. So I hope this little short thing about sampling is useful for you.